Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sarah back at again with another video. Um, don't mind this. I just came out of the shower and um, since I came out of the shower, usually I do my skincare regimen after um, and I thought that I would show you some of my skincare stuff that's not approved or just go over it and see what is and isn't approved from the app called Yuka. Um, it's an app like that one of someone I know um, introduced me to it and it's basically this app that reviews food, um, cosmetics, skincare and tells you if it's good or not, um, whether there's hazardous ingredients or not and just generally gives you a health rating for it. So, while I do have new skincare that is approved by the app, I haven't gone through all of my old skincare routine that let's be honest some of it is expired such as this one I've had since 2018 that probably has to be thrown away so I thought I might as well go through all of the old stuff and see what Yuka has to say about it. Mind you these were things that I like religiously used in high school because I thought they were magic you know because they were working well on my mother so I used them too. N not only but did I not know at the time that my mother wasn't acne ridden like I was but anyways first up is this um, Neutrogena ultra cleanser daily cleanser this still exists um, if you go to like any drugstore or if you go to Ulta it still exists um, but I've had this for maybe far too long and I know even if um, the Yuka app says this is good I most definitely should throw this away because I've had this for about four years now this has been with me through about two moves now anyways I got the Yuka app already and let's scan the barcode and see what it decides to say. Oh, okay, well that's it. I guess I gotta get a new one. So the Yuka app is giving um, this Neutrogena product an 86 out of 100 um, and saying that it's like, it has some low risk ingredients such as something called coca I don't know how to pronounce that. Here you go, if you can read that. I know it's sideways anyways. Um, and it says it's a cleaning substance, often used as substitute for sulfates. Okay, so it's not that big of a deal. After all, this is a cleanser, so it needs to have some cleaning agents in it. So this is a good one, but not this particular one because it's old. So I'm going to toss this out and get a new one if I really like it. The, what was... Eh. Up next is this Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash. Like I said, I used this religiously in high school. I thought this was magic because it said acne wash. And I was like, okay, yes, yeah, snatched. So let's see what the app says about it. Oh, this one says... Uh, actually, I was expecting better, um, but it said 50 out of 100, and once again, one of the low-risk ingredients that was in here is also in here, but I mean, it is an acne wash, so it obviously it has to have a cleaning agent of some sort, and then it has some other stuff, but they're all like very low-risk, so... I guess take that with a grain of salt like I guess it because I also got what got it because of redness soothing because I have lots of redness um, which is not visible on this camera because my camera quality is just snatched great but if you have sensitive skin I would I would say take this um, review about this one with a grain of salt because the fact that it says 50 out of 100 means like it's not bad but it's not excellent you know all right, up next is this very neglected thing that um, missing its top because when I got it, I dropped it on the floor, like when I, by the time I got home. So I just, I was like, whatever. So it is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleansers. Why do I have so many facial cleansers? Did I think facial cleansers were magic? <gasps> Clearly this one isn't. It has a zero out of a hundred. Zero. And one of its hazardous ingredients, Proplyparaben. Oh, because it's a preservative agent due to their antibacterial and antifungal properties. But as like a facial cleanser, I don't know. I'm not too quite sure how I feel about that. But it's literally saying 0 out of 10, so this is definitely going in the garbage. Up next is this 5-year-old thing that will go to the garbage regardless of whatever Yuka says about it. Oh, it says 39 out of 100. Okay, yeah, this is going in the trash. This is the formula um, 1006. Um, illuminating peel mask so I'm starting to learn that peel masks aren't actually too great on your skin especially if you have sensitive skin um, but you know I didn't know anything about skincare in high school I just kind of followed fads and what my mom used speaking of fads this Kylie skin thing which I don't have the original box for it to scan so that's gonna be a real and this app won't allow me to search unless if I get like a premium membership so um 
I will make an update to this one as a in, as a YouTube um, shorts when I go to like a store that has it such as Ulta I'll scan it and like show you what it says look for this in a YouTube um, short update here we have another Neutrogena um, naturals purifying face facial cleanser what did I think about facial cleansers why did I buy so many oh my god also are you noticing a pattern here I seem to be obsessed with Neutrogena but I guess for good reason because all the Neutrogena ones are giving like this one's saying 79 out of 100 like all the Neutrogena ones seem to be like really nice and clean well I mean not like clean clean but you know not as bad as this that literally said zero out of a hundred so oh pick your poison this just as all the others they have literally been with me for five years now so i have a feeling that this is i shouldn't even use this because yuck so if i ever do decide i want to rebuy it again at least i know they're good or not excellent but you know decent next we have whatever this is doesn't even have a scanner barcode or anything um oh and it's dry it's a clarifying, hydrating, and purifying cleansing wipes. God damn, what is me with cleansing? Oh my God. Anyways, it is this thing. This thing is like, this thing is dry. Like, look, oh my God, that's how old this is. We're not even reviewing this. This is straight up trash. Okay, I don't know why this is in my skincare rack, but I have this old scent from um, Bath Body Works, Twilight Woods. Love this smell. But let's see what it gives. I don't know. Bath Body Works always, yep, yeah, 0 out of 100, as per typical with Bath Body Works products. And all of its ingredients are just hazardous. There's, like, mo a majority of them. So here we have a peel-off um, charcoal mask, but this also doesn't have a barcode. But this is... Um, Old, but not as old as another one that I will use as an example because I did keep the box for it. This one. This one has got to be at least eight years old. This one's probably only like four years old. So let's scan it and see what it has to say. Oh, actually, this is pretty good. Literally 100 out of 100. Okay, so if you want a really good, clean um, peel-off charcoal mask, get this one because there is literally all of its ingredients. There's, it's no risk. Like it's, I, this is the first one of my products that I've seen get a hundred out of a hundred. But I, I gotta give me another one of these because I love this one. This one is one of the few products that actually worked when I was in high school that made me think these were working because it was this that was working with my pores. But I do have a new thing that's like works with my pores as well. Um, so I guess I'll use them as a two. If you're wondering what that other thing is, it's the, the benefit, um, this new thing they got, you know, the, this thing, which I have the box for right here, so perfect. Let's let's check that. Let's see if it's Yuka approved. 83 out of 100. Whoa, hold on. Like, what? Why is some random unknown brand? I mean, I'm not surprised. But why is, and this is far cheaper. Why is a random known cheaper brand getting 100 out of 100 while a well-known one benefit that's known for poor care, like pores, like skin care? Why do they have a lower rating than this? Benefit, explain yourself. I mean, obviously the ingredients, it says low risk, but the fact that this says uh, the ingredients are no risk and this is low risk, why is there any risk at all benefit? Come on, do better. I mean, I'm still gonna use it because I bought it, but like, do better benefit, please. Don't disappoint me. Like, you never disappoint me, but this is disappointing. And so up next is this Trader Joe's Pumpkin Overnight Face Mask, but let's be honest, um, this is a seasonal thing. I don't have the box for it, and it doesn't exist in Trader Joe's for me to go and scan the box for it, so I don't know. If anyone has the box for it um, and can scan it on the Yuka app, let me know in the comments down below what rating it gives. So for now, we're going to put this aside, and there's going to be no update on that, unless you want to check the comment section for someone down below who has. Um, so up next is Murad. Once again, an acne control clarifying cleanser. Me and my cleansers. Oh my god, half of my collection is just cleansers. No wonder why my face was so dry in high school. I was literally, like, stripping it of absolutely everything. And drowning my face in tart shape tape as foundation, which I still do, but I moisturize now. And they have a creamy formula, so it's not as drying, so... Alright, enough yapping, and let's scan it. 29 out of 100. Let's see why. In case if you think I'm, like, messing with you, like, literally. 
Um, what? Phenooxyethyl. Primarily used as a preservative. Oh, okay. So apparently, um, some studies indicate toxic effects of that particular thing that's in here on blood and liver, and it also suspected to have effects on hormones and fertility. Well, it's a good thing I wasn't using this in high school. This is my college days thing. So. And I think I already knew that this wasn't that great, considering I barely used it and then tossed it away into the abyss of my skincare basket. Anyways, up next is another thing I don't have the barcode for, is this Burt's Bees Complete Nourishment Facial Oil with Rose Hip Seed Extract. If anyone has the original box for this, if this still even exists, I have never used it before. I think I got it as a gift and just never used it. But if anyone has the box for it or if it still exists in the store, just let me know down below what the rating for this one is for people who want to know. Um, anyways, moving on. So, oh, this one's definitely not going to have a rating. This one is a purifying mud mask for sensitive and acne skin that I got from um, a shop a small local shop at the Dead Sea in Israel. So let's see if UGAP has anything to say about it. I don't think they're going to even know that this exists. But let's see. Oh my god, they do. Great. Oh shit. Two out of a hundred. Come on, Israel. Come on. Are you serious? No, I'm so sad right now. I am... I'm so I'm so agitated right now. This this literally worked magic for me. How is it a two out of ten? Let's see what it's. Oh my god, I cannot pronounce whatever hazardous material this is. I'm a, I'm gonna try it anyways. Um, hydroxyisohexyl three cyclohexene carbox. Ha I give up. Um, that that um anyways apparently the ingredient has an extremely high allergenic risk um since august 23rd 2019 it is prohibited in europe and um all new products current products containing the substance are still on the market and can be sold till august 2021 okay so then i'm assuming if i were to go because i got this while i was on birthright in 2019 so i'm assuming if i were to go back to israel i probably won't be able to find it at least that's what I think. Um, I don't know. If any of you guys, if any of my viewers are in Israel and you live anywhere near the Dead Sea, go to the gift shop and see if this um, still exists over there. And if it does, DM me on Instagram. I want more. I want more. Ship me more. Anyways, that is all that's in my basket of like my old skincare stuff. Let me show you some of my newer stuff. And let's see what it says. Before that, let's scan my body lotion, which is Niva, and let's see what it says about it. Oh, 16 out of 10, 100. I don't care. It works magic. I'm using it anyways. Um, I take yucca ratings with a grain of salt sometimes, um, especially when it literally says its hazardous ingredients is petroleum. Like, okay. Like, put, people use petroleum on wounds all the time to retain moisture. That's literally the point of lotion is to add and retain moisture. So I'm going to take that rating with a grain of salt. So alongside with the Benefit one, um, one that I'm using now, which I don't have the box for, so anyone that do has the box, um, please like comment down below what the rating for it is. But it's for one of them is the Tula Skincare. 24-7 uh, moisture hydrating day and night cream and then another moisturizer which is a drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream um, as you can tell I have left my era of cleansers and I'm in my moisturi uh, moisturizing and hydrating era which let's be real um, everybody needs to moisturize like well I still got you here let's check my deodorant which is this one, which I don't know if deodorant can expire because I've had this since 2018. I mean, I literally got it at VidCon 2018. Axe was there and they were giving away some of their free, some free new scents. Um, it's this one. It's in the gold, um, oud wood and dark vanilla. Don't know if this still exists. Can't find it anywhere, but it is my favorite deodorant. So I use it sparingly, um, alongside with some different one, but this is the one I use a majority of the time. So, oh, 12 out of 100. Let's see why. Its hazardous ingredient is BHT. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I expected out of Axe. I mean, it's it's Axe. I mean, it's it's like, what, what was I expecting? Oh, and here's another uh, moderate risk one that honestly sounds like a Harry Potter spell. 
um, paraffinum liquidum. Like, no, I'm not even joking. I'm not even kidding you. Like, look at this. Um, and it's apparently it's a ingredient. This is a mineral oil produced by the oil refining process. Prohibited in food products. Mineral oils are allowed in cosmetics. Um, isn't mineral oil like also allowed with like computers? I've literally seen like gamers that build their PCs cleaning their stuff with mineral oil. Um, so, you know, um, gamers, <laughs> Axe, you don't got mineral oil, Axe deodorant, got your back. Now that's one of my deodorants. Here's the other deodorant. Um, I have several of these mini flavors that came out during the holiday season. Native deodorant that literally they're known for being clean, um, ingredients. So let's scan one of them and see what it says. Oh, 47 out of 100. That's disappointing. Um, so it's low risk is citrus lemon peel oil, please. Um, it's moderate risk is, once again, mineral oil. Okay, is mineral oil like a common thing in deodorant? If it is, then those like video memes where they literally show someone putting like deodorant on their like um, cars, like, how do I explain? Oh. You know those videos? Um, where like people take a sticker of deodorant and on the roller belt inside of like their car They just kind of put it there and then suddenly just magically stops making noise after that. Is it the mineral oil? Is that why? I'm please let me know <laughs> But anyways, um, why is this still on? Oh my god, my hair is basically almost dry now But um, that basically concludes this vid very long video 16 minutes long. Wow, that is I think perhaps one of the longest videos I've made on such a basic subject. I could be wrong. Um, I don't remember the YouTube videos I made. So, but anyways, um, um, I was about to say something. Then I realized I would be hella dated if I were upset that I was literally about to suggest, um, because I forgot YouTube no longer has video responses. That's t my phone just did a very rude thing and it cut me off mid-sentence because it said I ran out of space and I had to delete some things to continue filming. Rude. I literally forgot my train of thought. What the hell was I talking about? Right, how YouTube used to have video responses and my brain was about to it like say that. But then here's the thing, I'm also like posting on like Instagram and TikTok and stuff. So I forget that they have that option. So it's just like, one app that I used to use all the time doesn't have that option. Now one app that I'm using more often has that option, so now my brain is just confused with the two. But anyways, um, I don't know, not a bit, comment down below. I, I, I've been out of this YouTube game for so long, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Anyways, so comment down below what skincare stuff you used to use that you found out was hazardous by Yuka and what you're using now that actually works for you and is reviewed good by Yuka. And um, yeah, I guess that concludes this long video. I, I guess long in comparison to my like my Instagram reels and my TikTok videos. So yeah, um, see you in the next millennia. Um, debating on what kind of video it might be. It might be another um singing video like a karaoke video or something or it might just be something like this you will never know dan howell i'm taking inspiration from you with my posting habits so yeah i don't know i'm so awkward with outros now oh my god i've been i've been out of this game for so long anyways bye good grief that was so 2012 oh my god